All right, welcome back. I went to a gun show today, and I got several things. And then I went to Walmart and got some ammunition. And on top of that, uh, I have a quick update for my Mossberg 590 uh, shotgun. So first we'll start with what I got at the gun show. Uh, the first thing I picked up is this Magpul SRT, collapsible stock. Uh, before this, uh, for over a year I've had this Magpul CTR on my Colt 6920. And... Uh, came across one of these on the internet, uh, either YouTube or something like that, and really impressed with uh, the stock. has uh, two storage compartments, a uh, QD sling swivel. Uh, this also has a QD sling swivel, you can see right there in the back. Uh, but this is just a little bit more of an upgrade, and uh, it was $79.95 plus tax, and that's cheaper than I've found them anywhere else. And honestly, I've been having a very hard time finding this model in general so jumped on it picked it up and uh, have it installed on my Colt 6920 you can see it looks really nice <coughs> very nice cheek weld okay really really sweet looking really nice lock uh, clamp lever just sounds really good very positive clicks uh, extends now on this Colt 6920, it is a four position collapsible stock. Uh, some AR-15s, most AR-15s out there will be six position, but whatever position you put it in and then you clamp it, there's literally no play at all. I mean, it's like a very, very great lockup. Uh, same thing with the CTR, same exact thing. It's just this one, a little bit, you know, a little bit more of a nice stock. Uh, it's a little bit more heavy. But I really like the storage compartment. Uh, you see right here, this little panel, you kind of pry it open and you pull it out. It's like a soft rubber and that'll expose the entrance to the compartment. Uh, you can put a spare tube of oil. You can put some spare batteries for, you know, if you have optics like I do. Uh, or if you have a flashlight like I do as well. Uh, maybe you can fit a spare bolt. Uh, I'm not sure if it'll fit. Uh, I'll try it out, but pretty much anything you can fit in there, it's just really nice. It looks like it's watertight, okay, so, you know, really well protected. Uh, just a really, really nice talk. You can switch out either side, you know, whatever side you want the QD sling swivel attachment to be, just, you know, put it on whatever side. Right now it's on the left side of the rifle, okay. Uh, yeah, there it is. SRT, a very, very nice cheek weld. That, that's the biggest thing I have to say about it. It just feels really nice. Uh, makes sighting through my aim point even nicer than the CTR did. So, very happy about that. There's a little update for my Colt 6920. Uh, couldn't be more pleased. And then also at the gun show, I picked up two of these Bakelite AK-74 30 round magazines. Uh, this one right here is Russian and this one is East German. Okay, Still reinforced feed lips, still locking lugs. Uh, so I got two more of those. <coughs> uh, I try to pick these up, you know, one or two at a time uh, just so I can let them build up. And then over here uh, got some this is what I got at Walmart, this ammunition. I got 10 boxes of uh, ZQI 7.62 by 51 millimeter. Um, it's a NATO cartridge, obviously. One, 147 grain full metal jacket, non-corrosive. Uh, you see in parentheses, M80. That's the same designation that Lake City uses for their uh, 7.62 by 51. Only Lake City, uh, you know, the federal ammunition with Lake City brass, usually it's 149 grain. This is 147, but, you know, not a big deal. Uh, this was 997 a box. So 997 for 20 rounds. Picked up 200 rounds for like $106 because you got to pay a tax. Uh, this is made in Turkey. 
brass case, full metal jacket. It has a sealed primer. Uh, the brass was made, or the cartridge was made in 2014. There's a 14 marked on the head stamp. Really, really nice looking round. I already have 100 rounds of this uh, in my inventory, so I picked up another 200. So I got 300 total. <coughs> really, really nice ammunition. Uh, ZQI. A lot of guys like the 5.56. Uh, it's called the uh, SS109. Same thing as green tip. And with that, with the 5.56, it is 9.97 per box of 30. Okay, the 7.62 by 51 is box of 20. So I picked that up, and then uh, see my shotgun here, my Mossberg 590. Uh, I got this Mesa Tactical collapsible stock and pistol grip adapter, and then I got a Mossberg A2 pistol grip, Mossberg buffer tube, and Mossberg collapsible stock. Uh, this Mesa Tactical uh, adapter here comes with a QD sling swivel on both sides. Okay, that's that's really cool. And this is made out of aluminum. The adapter is made out of aluminum. Uh, so now my shotgun is configured exactly how I want it. But what's cool about this is uh, this adapter here for the pistol grip and the collapsible stock. Any pistol grip and any collapsible stock that'll fit an AR-15 uh, will fit this adapter. So you could put a mag pull. MOE uh, pistol grip, you can put a CTR collapsible stock, whatever you want. Uh, now that I think about it, I might put my CTR on here, but nice, you know, rubber pad. Really, really nice. Um, I keep a uh, double op buck in this shotgun. I actually have a round over here. This is what I use. Okay. Remington focus. Remington buckshot 12 <clears throat> 12 gauge 2 and 3 quarters length uh, 9 pellet high velocity and here's what it looks like right here. Okay. Uh, really good, really good uh, shells. So there it is. Holds uh, eight in the tube plus one in the chamber, nine total. Uh, pretty slick. So there's my update on my Mossberg 590 shotgun. And yeah, there, that, that was my day today, guys. Uh, pretty good score on uh, several items. And uh, just wanted to share with you guys. And uh, let me know what you guys think. All right, have a nice day.